Hi guys, welcome to weekly technical forex forecast for the 17th 21st of July. My name is Andrew Shanetsky, I'm a technical analyst at TrueFFX and traditionally we begin our forecast with the every USD currency pair. Uh, the price showed a strong and abrupt growth of the price uh, on Friday. It was caused by bad macroeconomic data in the USA. If we take a look at our volume chart, we see that this growth was supported by increased volume, but still the price is trading in the consolidation below the level of resistance uh, it's 1.1470 so uh, of course due to such a strong growth due to the global uptrend and that this growth was supported by large volume the possibility of the breakout of this resistance is pretty high so we should consider a scenario uh, of the breakout of this level confident breakout on increased volume and after that we can open long positions and wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be set below the breakout volume bar a potential of the deal is up to 100 pips so for the euro after the breakout of the resistance we should open long positions our next currency pair is the pound well the price showed a strong growth and uh, you see that the growth was abrupt and uh, it was of course if it was supported by a really large volume you, we can see it here also we need to highlight the new level of uh, support which was created during this growth it's uh, 1.3060 1.3076 as you um, as you can see from the volume chart this level contains pretty large volume so it uh, even strengths its importance so of course given such a strong and abrupt uh, bullish impulse and the presence of the strong and fresh level of support we should consider opening long positions we can enter the market after a smooth and small correction of the price on small volume it's a must condition and then we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be set below the level of uh, support with a little margin so uh, for the pound long positions only long positions should be considered to be open and of course in the uh, in the case of a good entry point we should enter the market our next instrument is the japanese yen uh, due to uh, bad macroeconomic data in the usa the price uh, of the currency pair fell down strongly you see that the fall was uh, um, as a bearish momentum also we need to highlight the new level of support it's 112.33 if we take a look at our volume chart uh, here we can see that uh, this uh, level uh, has stopped the growth of the price and it contains pretty large volume but given that the the whole move was supported by extremely large volume and uh, given the fact that the US dollar is weakening we should consider a scenario of the breakout of this level so if the price breaks down this level on large volume and confidently we can open short positions a stop loss should be set uh, above the breakout volume bar with a little margin and the potential of the fall is 110 120 pips so for the yen after the breakout of the support we should open short positions our next instrument is the Canadian dollar. Well, the price continued its uh, global downtrend. Uh, you see that the fall of the price was pretty sharp. Uh, but unfortunately, if we take a look at our volume chart, we can see that uh, volume is spread throughout this move. So unfortunately, we are unable to highlight any new volume levels or zones. But still, uh, given such a strong trend, we should consider only short positions. If the price corrects up approximately to the level 1.27 1.2710 we can open short positions and wait for further fall of the price a stop loss should be set above the previous uh, higher boundary of this local consolidation a potential of the deal is at least 100 pips so for the canadian dollar long po short positions sorry so short positions should be in priority our next instrument is australian dollar well, situation here is uh, 
uh, contrary to the Canadian dollar situation because the price grew up you see that the growth was pretty abrupt it was confident and we saw a strong bullish impulse here also we need to highlight a creation of the new level of support it's 0 0.7783 0 0.7793 if we take a look at our volume chart we can see that this level contains really large volume and uh, the entire the entire move also contains huge volume so of course given all these facts we should consider opening only long positions we can enter the market after a smooth and small correction of the price to the support then we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be set below the um, bullish momentum below this bullish momentum a potential of the deal is around 80 pips so for the Australian dollar long positions are in priority and our last instrument is gold uh, the price finally has broken out the level of uh, resistance and the higher boundary of the consolidation you see that the breakout was confident and sharp and you see that we uh, need to note a new level of resistance it's 1230.00 1231.40 uh, if we take a look at our volume chart we can see that this level contains really large volume and this volume has stopped the move of the price up but given the breakout of the resistance the breakout of uh, the consolidation and such a strong volume during the growth uh, we should consider opening long positions but only after the confident and strong breakout of this resistance after that we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be set below the breakout volume bar a potential of the deal is up to 140 pips so for the for gold long positions after the breakout of the resistance if we take a look at our sentiment we can see that our scenarios for the euro for the pound for the canadian and australian dollars are confirmed for the yen stations 50 50 so i advise you to be extremely careful and for gold uh, the, this indicator still shows the advantage of short positions but really after such a strong growth i don't advise you to open sales here so um we have a plenty of good uh, scenarios and situations for trading, especially for the euro, for the pound, and for the Canadian and Australian dollars. Uh, for the yen and gold, we should wait for a strong additional signal to be able to trade this instrument. But overall, situation is pretty good for trading, so I advise you to uh, watch for good entry points and trade, trade, trade. For today's all, thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. See you. Bye-bye.